Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the last video I did on the uh, cathedral architecture. I just want to add something to that real quick, and uh, this is going to be a real quick video. If you remember the uh, St. John the Divine uh, in New York, this cathedral that you're looking at right here, um, the symbolism of the high altar is actually a symbol of crucifixion, uh, which is really interesting because if you remember, crucifixion um, even the sign of the cross itself uh, is an ancient symbol of the Ta, and Ta is actually a symbol that stands for truth. Okay, So when you have reached a point of Da'ath, which is what they are showing in these uh, cathedrals, uh, at this area right here, if you remember I've shown you the human body as it is inside here and this is that same cathedral and you can see that the high altar is right up here where the brain is uh, but if we turn on the tree of life it's right across here right where the brow is and you can see how the head fits in here from the chin to the top of the skull so what I wanted to show you is I wanted to dig into the high altar uh, just a little bit more for a second and uh, show you some interesting things about it so when we reach the high altar inside that same cathedral, this is what we see. Now look at the way that he is on the cross, and look, notice where the crown is located. This is a very Kabbalistic and Gnostic type symbol that's been placed here. Well, a lot of people probably don't realize that. But as I looked at it, I was like, this really reminds me of something else that I've seen. And so I decided to test it. So uh, what I did was uh, I put some geometry on top of it and you have this square here and if you notice this square covers both sides of the cross here and goes right across the top of his head and if you notice that the square being uh, uh, if we take a look at it right here you can see that it's the same width and the same height in this particular instance based on the sizing and everything I've done it really doesn't matter it's proportionally the same <clears throat> it's uh, a little over a thousand uh, pixels per side, per height and per width. So we know it's a perfect square. So it goes right across his head and it goes right across his feet. So I was like, well this looks very similar to something else that I've seen before. And so I decided to test it out and indeed it is because if we take a look at Vitruvian Man uh, we see the same kind of symbol. His fingers reach the edge of this, uh, and let's just go ahead and take Vitruvian Man and turn him down just a little bit so we can see what's behind him. There we go. So you can actually see that <clears throat> the geometry of his body, his hands reaching out to this area uh, on his square also uh, cover the cross and they also it also goes right under his feet as well so we're looking at the same kind of symbolism but there's another thing that caught my eye about it was really interesting that I didn't notice before about uh, the Vitruvian man and if you've ever looked at the hair on the Vitruvian man uh, it's actually in the shape of a round circle, his whole head and his hair together. So if you could compare that to what you see on this, uh, and if you plop up some other geometry on this well, you'll see that the size of the rings are also fitting into what we see as far as uh, Kabbalistic uh, and Gnostic type drawing. So let's just zoom into that real quick and take a look at that. You notice how his hair is actually kind of in a, his hair and his head together, they're kind of in this uh, ring shape. So, this is the same kind of thing that we see in the background. His hair is actually covering the same size ring as what we see on this uh, cathedral. So, um, this isn't the only time I've seen this uh, with the Vitruvian man. The other pose that he's giving is right here, right, where his arms are raised up and reaching the top of this square. And this right here that you're looking at is an old painting as well. So he's showing the same thing. You can see that his arms are, are going in the same uh, angle as well. 
and you can notice this top of the square is going across and is the same width of this of this cross. So the Vitruvian man is showing us that uh, that this is what he was referring to, uh, the same alchemical understanding of uh, squaring the circle is what he was referring to here and comparing that to uh, the symbolism of Christ on the cross, which is the same thing that we see inside uh, these cathedrals, uh, representing uh, Christ or any person reaching a point of da'at. So I thought that you'd be interested in seeing this real quick. Uh, once again, here we go. You can see the comparisons to the church and what we see with Vitruvian man and the geometry. And the, the interesting thing to note is the ring, uh, the square uh, just under his feet, just over his hands on both sides, reaching the, the point and the ends of the cross and just at the top of the disc. So I thought this is what uh, what was actually trying to be presented here, but I just wanted to make sure and thought I'd show you guys in the process. You guys take care. I'll talk to you soon.